Every item up for bid are pieces of a small Sanford trucking company that lost its bid to stay in the game. When you see it go, to, we end up this way, it's tough. Douglas Smoke drove for Culverson Motor Lines for five years. It was one of the probably the best places around to be an operator. And, you know, they were stable and you never think they'd go down and, you know, go out of business because of this economy. The owners, Ron and Sandy Tillotson, thought they were going to be in this for the long haul. Culverson Motor Lines was started by Sandy's father 45 years ago. And now everything, including these trucks, is on the auction block. If you blame rising fuel prices, take a number. But the owners say insurance and equipment costs are also up, while shipping rates are not. Bigger trucking companies offer lower bids that Culberson couldn't match. Used to, you can make a good living at it, but not anymore. It's a reflection of the trucking business, which is why smoke is out. Dennis West struggles to keep on trucking. Your fuel prices, everything is so hard now that. That you got to work twice as hard to make what we used to make. Smoke now works at a local industry. He says it's not as enjoyable as driving that big rig. You have to do what you have to do, though. When you're driven out of business so you, sir, and all that belong to it goes to the highest bidder. Renee Chu, WRL News, Sanford. 156, 156. All right, on the crew.